welcome all to the burning issue of dhi academy today we are going to discuss one of the prominent issue that is vulnerability of women at workplace now let's discuss why did we choose this particular topic as you all know that recently the hema committee report of malayalam film industry was released it raised serious questions on alarming instances of various inhuman treatment of women of malayalam film industry at the workplace now we are not discussing or politicizing this particular issue we are just discussing what are the various challenges that a woman faces when she is at workplace now let's discuss various aspects of the report of or the findings of the hema committee report who is who is a justice in the judiciary now the first findings of hema committee report focuses on sexual abuse second is the safety of women on film set third is the discrimination and pay gap faced by women actors and their counterparts and legal and contractual issues associated with women and next fifth one is the deep rooted gender biasness seen across the gender sixth is the fear of consequences if they don't come to pressures and demand next seventh is being the cyber threats and last is the inhuman working condition with respect to women now the what are the key recommendations of the committee the first recommendation is being the grievance redressal mechanism where issues associated with women are solved with an appropriate time frame and mechanism and the second being strict implementation of laws see laws are available but its execution execution needs to be more stricter this is what the hema committee report says and the fourth being increase representation of women across the various aspect and various domain of film industry and next fifth being the support system for women so that not only her grievances are redressed but she is also gets appropriate support that is emotional physical and mental support across whatever she is going through the sixth being characterization of women in cinema should change a lot for example if you take any song of uh, any song so called considered as item song it is generally a objectification of women is entertained in film industry where item song is believed to be entertained by an woman now this is nothing but the characterization of women in cinema next is creation of a welfare fund where women actors actress various women actresses who are undergoing various sort of challenges under this particular workforce are given due consideration via this particular fund next comes the redefinement of masculinity and femininity see we all have different notions of masculinity and femininity just for an example we do something called as gender stereotyping what is this gender stereotyping the moment i say a hospital staff or a nurse the moment women comes to your mind but they are also oh, they are also men who are working as nurses now this aspect of considering or fitting a gender in particular occupation is nothing but gender stereotype that is what this committee highlights and tells that we should redefine masculinity and femininity as such so let's discuss the various legal frameworks which are available to women to address various harassments at workplace as you all know that last year the crpc uh, the ipc that is indian penal code was overrided by bharatiya nyaya sanhita to decolonize the colonial laws in this bharatiya nyaya sanhita 2023 the chapter 5 deals with sexual offenses against women and children coming to second that is sexual harassment of women at workplace also called as prevention prohibition and redressal act of 2013 now this particular act called as sexual harassment of women at workplace act was derived from the guidelines of supreme court which is prominently known as vishaka guidelines next comes the aspect of it act that is information technology it act 2000 which deals with cyber bullying and cyber harassment associated with gender next comes the government has taken various measures such as she box she box is an online complaint portal where an woman can easily file an uh, any grievances if she is facing with next comes the working women hostel 
next the word itself is i think it doesn't need elaboration it's a hostel for working women next one stop centric scheme and swardar gray it focuses on making women centric policies to address various challenges of women at workplace there is one more thing which has been not mentioned that is krishe facilities if an woman is having a having a young child she can live a krish, mandatory krishe that is created and she can peacefully focus on her workplace next comes the sexual harassments of women at workplace prevention prohibition and redressal act 2013 let's discuss this in detail this addresses the issue of sexual harassment faced by women in the workplace now as i said you this guidelines were provided by vishaka and others versus state of rajasthan in the year 1997 vishaka was a brave woman who went to stop the aspect of child marriages and she was exploited she was harassed sexually by a group of people and she was not allowed to perform her work that is not to entertain and bring uh, stop or stop the aspects of child marriages now this all things has led to the formation of this particular act and the sexual harassment of women at workplace prevention prohibition redressal act of 2013 now this also called as posh act which defines sexual harassments to include unwelcome acts so what is the sexual harassment how do we define this aspect of sexual harassment this is prominently and precisely defined in the posh act that is prevention of sexual harassment act which defines sexual harassment to include unwelcome acts such as physical contact or and sex sexual advances or demand for a request for sexual favors making sexually colored remarks showing pornography or any other unwelcome physical verbal or non verbal conduct of sexual in nature now the various provisions under this particular act consists the first provision is the prevention and prohibition it is a legal obligation on the aspect on the domain of employers to prevent and prohibit the cases of sexual harassment the second comes is the internal complaint committee as ic is also known as icc that if an organization or a workplace is having more than 10 employees then it should then it should have a icc next comes the duties of employees now various awareness program and display of this particular posh act should be provided in the office spaces so that women can have a safe environment now this act of act also prescribes for penalties if non compliance with the with the various provisions of this particular act so to conclude our uh, ancient literature uh, that is manusmriti quotes this about women yatra naryaste pujyante ramante tatre devata this indicates where women are respected where women are worshiped where divinity prevails and shines there is that is a place where peace is established let's make sure that this uh, shlok is practiced in not, not only on letter but also in spirit by respecting the posh act and respecting the dignity of women at workplace thank you all this is what is for today's burning issue analysis please do like share and subscribe the video and press the bell icon to never miss an update from dhi academy thank you all have a great day